What's up guys, this is Corey. Welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Today I'm going to be talking about a, another Best Picture nominated film, this one from 2009, Up in the Air. Up in the Air starred George Clooney, Vera Farmiga, and Anna Kendrick, and it was directed by Jason Bateman, who previously made Thank You for Smoking, Juno, and would later make Young Adult. So Up in the Air is about George Clooney. He works for this company that its main purpose is to fire people. Um, he travels around, all around the world and he uh, is hired by different companies to fire their employees to make it a little less personal. And soon Anna Kendrick comes into the scene and she's a very young and ambitious girl who is throwing ideas out that you know, they don't need to travel all around the world to fire someone, they can do it over the computer. And Jason Bateman says, you know, we'll give this a shot. And George Clooney doesn't like this. You know, he lives his life the way he lives it, and, you know, there's no point in changing it because it's such a foolproof method. Foolproof method. That, and he has a personal goal to travel, like, 250 uh, million miles or some craziness. And while he's on these business trips, he gets into a relationship with Vera Farmiga, and their, uh, their relationship is, you know, whenever they can meet, they meet up, have dinner, have sex, you know, stuff like that. And so, uh, kind of as a learning tutorial for uh, Anna Kendrick to kind of reason out what, uh, what works and what doesn't, they travel around to different cities and they use George Clooney's method of firing and then towards the end they start uh, going with Anna Kendrick's method and you know does it work does it does it not work you'll have to find out this film was nominated for six Academy Awards including best picture best actor in a leading role for George Clooney best actress in a supporting role for Vera Farmiga best actress in a supporting role for Anna Kendrick Best Director for Jason Bateman, and Best Adapted Screenplay. So how is this movie? Up in the Air is one of those very enjoyable films that, you know, you don't really expect much from, but honestly I had a really good time in watching it the first time I saw it, and I've watched it many times since it came out, and I, I love it. George Clooney's performance is very well done. I mean, it's, it's not like groundbreaking or anything, but I mean, he did a really good job. He's uh, very solid throughout the entire film. And, you know, a lot of this comes with uh, support from, you know, the uh, Vera Farmiga and Anna Kendrick. And, you know, they all do a really good job in their performances. There are a few um, cameos, I guess, in this film, including J.K. Simmons, Zach Galifianakis, Sam Elliott and Danny McBride and you know all of those uh, cameos are pretty effective. The direction in this film is very effective and Jason Reitman who is a uh, side note Jason Reitman is the son of Ivan Reitman who directed uh, Ghostbusters and many other famous uh, comedies from the 80s and the brother of Catherine Reitman who has her own YouTube uh, movie review show called Breaking It Down with Katherine Reitman. A uh, link to her channel will be in the description. But Jason Bateman's uh, direction is very well done. I, I absolutely love all of his movies, and, you know, he really does a fantastic job with, you know, just kind of everything that he puts into his films. Up in the Air was one of my favorite movies to come out of 2009, and it's still one of my favorite Oscar-nominated movies to come out ever. Um, it's kind of a smaller film, but it's a very effective film. And it's, it's one that I enjoy putting in every once in a while. So, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it, because it is a very well-directed and a very well-acted film that tells a very interesting story and... You know, it has really good pacing. I'm going to give Up in the Air a 9 out of 10. So tell me, guys, have you seen Up in the Air? If you have, what do you think of it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What do you think of George Clooney? What do you think of Vera Farmiga and Anna Kendrick? 
What you think of the direction, the uh, storyline? Comment below, let me know. Love to hear your feedback. If you guys like this review, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always, I'm Corey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.